Yes, so it started uh, around the turn of the century in Winnipeg with this woman, Sarah Malabar, who opened up this store that at that time was largely doing ball gowns and uh, like formal dress wear, that sort of thing. Um, it wasn't until her son, Harry Malabar, moved to Toronto in the 20s and set up shop in Spadina that it sort of switched focus and started getting a little bit more theatrical wear as well as that kind of formal dress wear. Uh, well, the person who owns it, Luigi, is in his mid 80s now. He's this has been this is his baby. You know, this has been the, his his life's love and work. But you know, he's he's getting on in years, and it's been uh, it's just a lot for one person to run. He's still the lead tailor here, um, as well as being the owner of the company. The company has always survived well by having its hand in kind of a lot of pies. So we have the rental department that rents out um, for private parties or for um, theaters or smaller productions. And then we have the retail side that split up costumes year round for things like Comic-Con, uh, for parties, that sort of thing, um, an extensive stage makeup. And then the dancewear section is, is just huge with all the, the dance schools in Toronto. Uh, the owner's been interested in possibly starting up um, a costume bank similar to what, there's a couple of collections in the United States that run as banks that different organizations can kind of reach out to and pull from. Um, other than that, possibly auctioning things off, possibly donating to schools or to any kind of society that would be interested. I believe his intention is to sell it all off and it's kind of, we have no guarantees on that because uh, ultimately it's going to be the decision of the person who buys it. And with the condo market being so, you know, so hot in Toronto, there's definitely a worry that we're going to have someone come in and say, yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll pay for this company and then just be like, well, this was a good deal for the building. So that's the uh, last on our list of things that we hope it's going to be as a condo. <laughs>